Okay, this is part two. This will show you um, the subsets folder. Um, so you'll you'll notice that there are actually um, three, uh, four folders. Yep, of materials, poses, scenes, and subsets. So this is the subset part of it, and what this is is a combination of the um, the the main interface. So, um, for instance, four-way. Click on that, and all that is is basically. Just for um, the interface, um, with just parts turned off, and and just to make a four-way bridge, which will link with um, which it's all easy snap stuff. So it'll link with other parts. So if you actually um, so I drop in. A single part here. Here's a single disc that'll that'll fit in there as well. So it all links together, and it's up to you how you want to arrange them. As long as you've got your easy snaps turned on, these will be fine. And that's this one is like Just drag him over here. Whoops. And that one you can, and don't forget you can rotate this around to usually 90 degree bends, is um, how I've designed them. And say you wanted the the doors open a bit more, then um, you should come down to settings. Yeah, and just and you'll just manipulate that to suit yourself. So most of most of the um, Subsets are set up that way. I've just done them easy and convenient for you. It's just so you you just basically just drop in a something that you want to put in. You grab it and you just um, but basically move it into place. There's no To suit yourself. Um, okay, delete. We'll just and it's just you know, click and delete to get rid of them. I've also got another pre-made um, underneath here, which which like this one is a full setup of just four four elements. Just different combinations, really. It's um, a lot of it. You, it's all customizable, and you can make up your own. And then you've got this whopping big one. It's about eight. Be careful because the bigger you get, obviously more polygons and longer rendering rendering time. So this was all created with easy s snaps on, just using the the main element, um, main interface. So that is a, a rough rundown on what the um, sub elements do, and um, I hope you. Use them, thanks. 
Okay, also it comes with um, t two um, pose sets. Um, now this is to work with the main interface, so we'll just drop the main interface in. I've got um, Genesis 3 Mail loaded. You'll go into your poses section. I've got one for um, Genesis 3 female and Genesis 3 male. Just make sure you have your male set up. And just click. And he'll be he'll be right to go. And the same with um this is only set up for the, the base such um figure of both female and male. So you're going to have to uh, maybe adjust the the height a little bit if it's um, if it's uh, I think we you can actually adjust the height of the keyboards as well um, somewhere you can I'm pretty sure yeah I'm not sure there's so many dials but um, that's basically it for the how you use the and a good thing probably to do is actually parent um, yeah it, I don't think you can actually parent the sorry the recording software went a bit haywire there but yeah you can parent it parent it to um, the VR interface so um, once you've got that set up you can you could actually save that as a subset and bring it in later on if you wanted to. Just save it would save you um, more work trying to. Um, and plus, he's um, if you've got it set at the Easy Snap set up, it's um, it's easy as well. You can just so he'll go to the center of wherever. So he'll end up in the center no matter what. If you just stick to the settings I gave you for the um, VR into the Easy Snap interface. Next thing we'll um, go through is the materials. So um, obviously, sorry, there's, this is only um, iRay because of the shaders and how the the transparencies work you just can't get the same uh, can't get the same look in um, in 3D Delight so I've, I I didn't know how to do it and uh, so sorry guys it's it's um, iRay only so you come up with um, six main colors like this for the the main one main interface um, background I do have three different colors now this these work with the background camera if you load them in and there'll be an object called background and you'll just apply apply that to them the cylinders they'll come with um, the big half cylinder and the big cylinder all use the same same material sets so don't worry too much about that uh, Hello Sphere, that's the um, same thing, six sets. Also, there's a, a, a trim element, so you can. Um, let's go. Okay, let's load in the main interface. Go back to materials. Right, yeah, so we just apply the green, the green color to it. In the trim, I think you can just click on, and there you'll notice that it, it just changes the the trim on the the interface.
So basically that's 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 all the trim does. Now um, I do have, there is a little bug in the system. Well, it's not really a bug, it's something I use. It's called the eight, it's eight screen. So what this is, while you, um, why I've got it, this looks like it's out, it's that it's um, not in the correct position but if you do render it you'll you'll notice that it it does it actually is in the same position and why I do this is just moving UV coordinates to give you a, um, so it's not all looking the same otherwise you would get the same look from the from the top down to the bottom so I've moved the UV coordinates for the bottom one so we'll just render this to to show you. As you can um, see that the bottom doesn't look like the actual um, preview, so it renders properly. So don't panic if you um, if you see if you see that you don't worry about it. It's just. Uh, I don't know whether it's my video card or whether it's actually a Doug um, um, Daz Studio bug. It um, it all renders out fine in the end. So that's um, so that's why um, so I have a little utility when you're applying materials. Okay, so. We'll pick our material editor here. We'll go green and see how it's it's the same as the top one. So if you want to um, if you want it to um, look uh, give it a bit more variety and have it, you just use this um, UV utility one and it just adjusts the screen and then it it'll look like this. So it um, so it it looks different than the top panel. Otherwise, if you apply the materials, the the bottom panel will would look exactly like the top panel, and that's a bit repetitive. So um, it's just a utility to um, move the UV coordinates. So I hope you get some use out of that. Thanks.